My name is Mr. Ishengoma and we are here to look at this sequence question. If you look properly from the first term gives us the answer one. But when you look at the second line, we have the first term plus the second term which will give us five. When you look at the third, the second, the first term of the third line, the second and the third, when you add all of them, it gives us 14. This means this sequence question is dealing with sums. Okay, so this will be our first sum. This will be our second sum and they continue like that so here we have the nth sum so mean this is the formula for any sum which we would want to get now if this is the formula it means if i plug my n as one here one here, one here, I will be able to get the first sum. Or if I plug my n as two, I plug two there, I plug two here, and I plug two there, and I work it out, I will be able to get the sum as five. And it continues like that. Therefore, we are told to find the value of A and the value of B. Meaning, we have A here, we have B here, we need to find their values. So, if we have got two unknowns, it means we need to create simultaneous equations of two unknown, then we work them out so that we can find the value of A and B. Now, how shall we get the simultaneous equations? We shall substitute n with the first term, and we shall get the first sum, like this. a 1 power 3 plus b 1 power 2 plus 1 over 6 should give me 1, because the first sum is 1. So, a plus b is equal to 1 minus 1 over 6. I take 1 over 6 this side, it becomes minus. And a plus b will be equal to 5 over 6. This becomes my first equation. Then I get n is 2, I substitute a 2 power 3 plus b 2 power 2 plus 2 over 6 should be able to give me my second sum. And my second sum is 5. I work out. 2 power 3, I get 8a. 2 power 2, I get 4b is equal to 5 minus 2 over 6. When I simplify, I get 8a plus 4b is equal to... 4, 1 over 6. This becomes my second equation. After getting the two equations, I write them down properly. I have A plus B is equal to 5 over 6. This is 5. And again, I write 8A plus 4B is equal to, make it improper, the, this is 24, 25. So, 25 over, over 6. So, this will be 1, 2. This is 4 over 6. This will be 4 over 6. So, it's 4 over 6. Are we together there? So, if this is 4 over 6, if this is 4 over 6, I have 
Yeah, if this 4 by 6, I have to, this time this is 24. 24 plus 4 will be 20, 28. Then I take these two equations and I work out simultaneously. And we know there are so many ways of solving simultaneous uh, equations. You can use substitution or you can use elimination or you can use graphical and for now we are going to use calculator so I get my values equation equation unknowns 2 I got 2 unknowns the value of A is 1 the value of B is 1 and the value of C is 5 over 6 I go to the second equation the value of A is 8 the value of B is 4 the value of C is 28 over 6 28 over 6 so I get my X as I get my A as 1 over 3 uh, sorry 1 over 3 and I get my B as a half so this is the value of A and this is the value of B I use the calculator method so whenever we have such a sequence question where we are already given the formula and there are other unknowns when there are two unknowns then we shall make two simultaneous equations and we solve them but there are some sequences where you will have a b c which is not known so if you have three unknowns then you will have to go for three unknown simultaneous equation thank you for watching my name is mr ishengoma